There are problems. Every problem has a certain natural amount of global state, which may be zero for, like if your problem is to compute factorial and it's not a factorial of a very high number, the natural amount of global state there is very low, right? Zero probably. But keep in mind, there's, a, there's already a difference. Like you might compile in factorials for some numbers just to accelerate uh, the, um, the computation, right? And so you might have read-only global state, which is not really what they're talking about, right? When people say global state, they really mean things that could be modified at runtime, right? And so keep that in mind. Anyway, I will tell you every problem has a natural amount of global state. For some problems, that amount is zero, like the functional language and Rust people really want. But for a lot of problems, the amount of global state is naturally more than that. And for a video game, the amount of global state that's natural is huge. And if you say, oh, I didn't make a global variable, I made a singleton. Your singleton is just a global variable. Like, get the fuck off your stupid horse, right? Um, so, so like, like, yes, uh, incorrect amounts of global state will make your program messy. Um, if you have a lot of natural global state, bad management of that can be a problem. Yes, it can cause bugs. But pretending like there shouldn't be any is also stupid. It'll also make your program too complicated and it'll affect your engineering ability. Because here, here's the problem. A good engineer needs to have clear eyes on reality, right? He needs to be doing, or she, needs to be doing a very clear cost-benefit analysis at any given time, right? And if you get into the real danger of this stuff is not exactly that you have the wrong opinion about how much global state there is or whatever. It's that you get into, like propaganda victims get into this realm you know, we know this from history, from politics, right? They get into this realm where they're lying to themselves all the time to maintain the propaganda, right? Like, oh, my program, yeah, it sure was a lot of work to avoid having that global state, but my program's so much better because I did all this extra work, right? You start lying to yourself as opposed to observing what actually happened. And that's the problem, because as soon as you start doing that, you're not doing good engineering anymore. And um, that's just the downfall of everything. Like, it's just very hard to be a good programmer when you're lying to yourself all the time about these things. And you have to unlearn it. Like, I went to college. I learned certain things about programming languages and how they should be. And I had to unlearn all that stuff. And I was lying to myself about that stuff for the first several years that I was a professional game programmer. It's just, it's, it's inherent to programming culture that we get propagandized, right? So, and you see it in different, like the object oriented people are like so sure that you're an idiot if you don't use object oriented programming, right? And it's like, everybody else looks at that and they're like, what are you talking about, right? But it only makes sense if you're like deep into the cult. Um, so yeah. It is what it is. OOP isn't in vogue anymore. I know. That's what makes it easier to make that comment. If I had made that comment 15 years ago, most people would be like, what are you talking about? What do you mean? You're stupid. You still don't understand OOP. You don't get it, right? And it's like, actually, I, I get it, guys. I've done it. It sucks. <laughs> um. Observing actual reality is a big problem. In my experience, people tend to be afraid of global state because they do not know the requirements and play what if games. Yeah. Well, but also, I mean, here's the thing. It is true that programming is hard. And when we go to solve a problem, we're following some heuristics that we learned about how to be good programmers. 
And the problem is the people who teach us, which used to be all universities, but now I guess is more and more just opinionated articles on the internet or whatever, the people who teach us are not very reality-based about what they teach us.